Yeah, it's been something that's been discussed here at the Capitol for quite some time, particularly on the Democratic side. But this year, with a mention in the state of the state and at least two different bills filed, the question is, could this be the year it actually happens? We can and we should do more for Oklahoma families. That's why I'm proposing to eliminate the grocery tax. That would cost the state about $300 million a year, although you'd still pay any sales tax imposed by your local city. But it would save you money when you go to the register. The state currently charges a 4.5% sales tax on groceries. We're one of only 13 states that does that. That means if you spend $200 a week on groceries, you pay $468 a year in the tax. House Minority Leader Emily Virgin's been pushing the idea for some time, saying it would most help people with lower incomes. Sales tax, everybody pays the same rate, so it's going to affect those who make less the hardest. So those are, are people who just haven't seen as much relief in recent years when you think about income tax cuts at the federal level and at the state level. There's a bipartisan push this year. The top Senate Republican with a similar bill. Virgin's bill passed an early committee vote today, but there's still a long way to go.